Rich in scenic beauty and populated with friendly residents who are generous in spirit, the country of Malawi has long been called the warm heart of Africa. Unfortunately, friendliness does not always translate into prosperity. Landlocked and faced with many challenges, Malawi is rated as one of the ten poorest countries in the world. The United Nations estimates that 70% of Malawi's population of 12 million is nutritionally at risk. A good majority of the people suffer each year through what is called the hunger season, the months between the time that the food runs out and the beginning of the harvest. Culturally dependent on maize or corn as a staple food, the people of Malawi are extremely vulnerable. Because corn is a crop that can easily fail if the rains are not right, just one unsuccessful season can be devastating. 2005 was one of those years for Malawi. Halfway through the growing season, the rains stopped. About this time last year, after good rainfall up to December 2004, there was an abrupt stop to the rainfall supply. Eventually, by February, this stopped completely. Most of the farmers lost up to 60% of their total harvest. This created a serious shortage. We realized that we needed to respond immediately because it was being documented that people started dying because of the hunger crisis. While it is not the normal practice for ADRA to distribute food, Extreme circumstances like famine, natural disaster, or the displacement of people in time of war call for extreme measures. ADRA's long-range goal of ending poverty can only be successful after the very essentials of survival are in place. It is hard to learn how to be prepared for tomorrow when you have not eaten today. And so in many communities that suffered extensively by the drought in Malawi, ADRA saved lives through the distribution of maize. Once conditions are more stable, ADRA's primary focus is helping people be better prepared for the next time that the rains fail. Through the introduction of new crops and food production technologies, new seed stock for high yield plant varieties, crop diversification and mixing, soil enriching, soil conservation, as well as better methods of food storage, ADRA is helping the people of Malawi become more food secure. One of the first things that ADRA does when entering a new district is to establish community-based organizations. Representatives from each of these new organizations are selected to attend workshops where they are given instruction for strengthening and improving the lives of the people in their villages. Beyond food security and new agricultural methods, these community leaders learn concepts that promote health and sanitation, the prevention of HIV and AIDS, human rights and issues of gender, and how to work with and safeguard the most vulnerable households in their villages. These trainees return to their communities to become the trainers. Hungry and poor for so many years, the villagers are eager to learn and implement the new methods. Before ADRA came to our village, we were in a very bad way. We used to farm a very big piece of land and harvest very little. Now that ADRA has shown us new farming methods, we plant small fields and harvest very much. 
Adra brought us new seeds and showed us new ways of planting. They introduced us to the idea of crop diversification and how to make our own fertilizer from manure and compost. The results have been amazing. Last year we harvested much more than we needed for our family. We sold our extra vegetables in the market and made enough money to make a big addition to our house. The coming of Adra has helped us so much. We used to have some very strict ideas about the various roles of gender, but Adra has taught us that it is okay that we work together to do the domestic activities as well as work together in the fields. There is a lot of power in knowledge. There are so many things that a community can do better when we all pull together. We are determined to continue our community-based organization long after Adra leaves our village so that we can grow together as a community. We are so grateful for what Adra has done in our village. If it were possible for us to walk to your country and thank all of the people for the things that they have done for us, we would have gone already. But because it takes the plane, we cannot go. Please take my thanks for me. Through your generosity, the people of Malawi are becoming more food secure. ADRA Canada is grateful for your participation as we work together to end poverty. Thank you for your continued support.